One of the great things about energy efficiency as a career is the challenge of mastering a broad area of knowledge in order to be able to provide good advice, the sort of advice that needs to be provided in an energy audit. An understanding of the theory of energy fundamentals underpins a lot of this knowledge. Hi, I'm Bruce Rouse, and over the last 20 years, I've worked with a lot of people who are keen to come up with ways of saving energy and reducing greenhouse gas pollution. But unfortunately, I've learned that many people just don't understand the fundamental physics and thermodynamics of energy use, even including some energy auditors. And if you don't understand the theory behind energy fundamentals, you'll probably find it hard to identify those large savings opportunities that good energy auditors seem to be able to pull just out of a hat. And without a good grasp of energy fundamentals, you'll be more likely to fall for dubious product suppliers using pseudoscience to promote products that supposedly deliver massive savings, but in reality, that actually work well at all. So this course is for those who are new to auditing and those who may have auditing experience, but don't have a background in mechanical or electrical engineering. In this course, you'll learn how to apply the first law of thermodynamics and how to determine the overall efficiency of a system or process. The course then moves on to cover the fundamentals of electricity and heat transfer. And with HVAC and R being such a large user of energy, it also examines the energy-related properties of air and water. I look forward to seeing you in the course.